my name is Dorota Palicka and I'm going to do a short review on my drill machine. So uh, we will be talking about this drill machine. I'm with my colleague from the work and uh, we will be doing some rebalance on her news. Uh, so she can say hi as well. And I hope you will enjoy this video. I've got braces on, so I'm not okay. I will smile. I don't care. But uh, I hope you will enjoy this video. And if you do, just click like and subscribe on my channel. So let's start. Now we are in a zoom in position. So I will start with a big apologize first. That's my hands. And for drill work, I really don't like to wear the gloves. Um, I always sanitize my hands and a client's hands uh, with the Insta spray from Neil Perfect. So that's what I'm going to do. Now we're going to sanitize the hands and now we can look at my ugly nails. So one hand is just started and the other hand you can see is a couple weeks uh, old and I just start filing the product off. Um, so it's not in the best condition, but I do apologize for that. Never time for my own nails. Uh, but I think it will be a good idea to show you how I do them in the next video. So subscribe. But the reason for this movie is I have been asked by many of you uh, what type of drill I use. And uh, that's the answer. It is a K38 uh, Marathon drill. It's absolutely amazing drill, portable, very light. And I love it, first of all, because it's cableless. So uh, you don't have to find another plug in your salon to plug it in. Um, and the battery lasts me for ages. Uh, I can do quite a few clients on it. Um, another reason why I love it as well, because it's so small and the cable here is really long, I can keep it inside the drawer in my kneel desk so it's protected from the dust. And uh, each of you can know that the dust can be really like it's flying everywhere and can be damaging to our equipment. So this way, this little drill beautiful one can be hidden in a drawer and it's not disposed as much for the dust um, the hand piece is really really light and uh, nice and um, comfy it has very low vibration but i will demonstrate that to you and the hand piece i'm using is the sh300 and um, they are a less powerful ones so make sure you've got sh uh, 300 not sh 200 um, which you can definitely feel the difference in the power of this machine so i keep my um i keep all my drill bits uh, in the barbicide and uh, i can show you two of my favorite ones that's the bit i use for so there we are i just cleaned them a little bit so that's the drill i use for a cuticle like the, the one I use the most in the salon work. And then that's a bit which I use for uh, removing any products. And I love it because it is a safety bit. You can get it from our website or just message me. Uh, it's $29.99, but it lasts you a really long time. Um, on eBay, you can see actually cheaper versions of it. It looks exactly the same. Even the colors are the same, but it's, it's definitely not the quality the 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 grid on it is completely different and it doesn't take the product off as well i love this fact that it has those safety bit and you can see it here it's all nice and smooth it doesn't have uh, those rough surface um, so it's safer for your clients cuticles and i will be demonstrating to you how to use it i keep it in the barbicide because it's a really good liquid to uh, kill all the uh, bacteria, viruses, uh, is definitely a must have for every nail technician for your like cuticle nippers, for a cuticle pusher and any other metal tools. And you can see there is a tiny bit of the white stuff on the end. That's a cotton bud which you could put to prevent a damage of your uh, cuticle nipper and um, a damage maybe of the knife side on the cuticle pusher because uh, that's all kind of sharp tools so you don't want them to bang on top of the glass. And let's hear the noise, or actually almost no noise, uh, on this machine. I'm going to put it on. So to put it on, I have to, I have to twist it to the left side. To close it, it goes right side. So I'm twisting, and this place is opening up for me. Of course, first of all, this is very important. This is not a drill training. To operate the drill and to use it safety on your clients, you have to take a, a, a training and. Um, best if it is an accredited training so you know that you are not going to hurt anyone because uh, 
any kind of tool and a person um, and a hands of person which doesn't have a good training for it is really danger and then we hear the horror stories um, uh, about the news so that's how i secure the bit so to open i twist it left side and then i can easily remove it and then to close it i twist it to the right side so let's hear this noise which is almost no noise so there is a start button just on the side uh, which i can press and then then you've got the power um, which indicate how um, how fast the the drill is going you've got also the battery level i'm just going to turn it your side and uh, then you've got reverse button as well so you can put uh, if you're left-handed it might be better for you to work on the other side and this button is to turn the speed so normal speed i'm working in the sound is about 11 to 12 and you can hear how nice it is that is like i'm really very close to the camera and there is not much of the noise uh, not much of the noise now I can go lower with the speed and that's it stop. I also show you the maximum power as well and uh, just so you can hear how smooth this machine runs. So that's the maximum power. And then going down, I'm always for a rebalance, I'm always working on number 12 as a maximum. Uh, and this is definitely enough. So nice and quiet, light hand piece. Um, I show you also the nails here, so we will be removing the product uh, from them and I want to show you how nice and uh, quick it can be with the help of the drill. When I'm working with the drill, I like to use the dust collector. This bit is a bit noisy, so I will put it on for you so you can hear it. So that's my fan. And... Uh, it will collect the dust for me. I do recommend it for a rebalance also to put the mask on and uh, protect yourself. It is quite a lot of dust uh, to breathe in and you really don't want that. And they are sometimes um, sometimes a bad kind of, um, there is a bad knowledge about the mask because people uh, recognize the mask about the bad salons, not standard salons, but you don't worry about it. You wear the mask to protect your chest uh, because you're working uh, with the dust every single day and I do really recommend uh, you do that. So um, I will show you how quickly I can remove the product. Um, this uh, this girl is actually, uh, first of all, that's a news done by my colleague Agnieszka. Uh, they are a couple weeks, uh, couple weeks old and they have been on hard working hands. You can see uh, traces of the glue on those nails. And uh, here is quite a lot of uh, glue because the girl, which is actually my model today, is working as an eyelash technician. Um, so she has been hard on her nails with the little baby houseworks, uh, but they're still not too bad for a few weeks. And now I will show you how I remove the product on for, uh, off from them. So the fan goes on. My drill goes on speech number 12. I will just put it on the side and I secure my hand. I First of all, I have to make sure the client hand is in a nice position and I can fully secure the nail. I, had, I kind of supported it from the bottom and then I can work down the way and then I will be working around the cuticle area. So here, first of all, I'm removing this product and pre preparing the nails for a rebalance. So you can see I'm holding really strong the nail to make sure like the client doesn't move or if it moves I'm still kind of got the control over the nail and what I'm doing. And that's basically the color taken off and um, I can still play a little bit more and go on the sides or if I know that I'm going to shorten the nails I can remove a little bit of the bulk from the end so later on I've got less filing. And at this stage I can just no, actually I don't switch off my machine, so I've got still the same speed and I want to show you how safe it is. So because of the safety bit, I can touch the cuticle, the skin there, because it's not hurting. But also those bits, you could see how quickly they remove the product, but they safe even if I go over, over my skin. So 
it doesn't mean that you kind of file the fingers away and uh, not all the bits uh, are so good but this one is amazing and I'll show you one more here I'm going to have a little bit more trouble because this nail is lifting and in this case you have to be extremely careful because the product might jump out and uh, that's my really hurt the client there is also an encapsulated glitter which means I have to go a little bit um, more re removal of the product So you can see how I'm support, <coughs> supporting the nail. If I wouldn't support this nail, it will give really bad noises and lots of vibration, and I don't want that. So here, and here I've got those lifting. So I have to be very careful because the lifting might jump out, and I don't want to hurt my client. So if I'm working on the side, quite often I turn the person's finger and then I can work very close to the cuticle. But you can see I'm changing the direction of my bead. So it's always um, this way toward, uh, on front of the cuticle. Here this lifting, let's touch it again a little bit and the rest I will leave it to hand file. I can remove again the bulk of the, the bulk of the product which is on the end in a case if we shorten the nails. And I can go to the next one. Exactly the same. So I'm starting from the one side, supporting the finger. You can see how nicely it is coming off. Is it sore? No. no. <laughs> Actually, a drill file can give you less fraction than the hand file, and uh, if operated in the right hands, uh, it will be definitely quicker and less like and better for the client's nails as well. So don't be afraid, but you need to invest those money into the good, good drill, because uh, with the cheap versions, you've got so much vibration that you can't really do nice work. So again, I'm just thinning out the product a little bit. You can't stop too long in one place because then you could overfile it and uh, you will just give yourself more work. And this bead, uh, I use it for a good couple months now. Uh, if I would take a brand new, it would just go like, whew two moves and all the products is off and you can see I'm kind of filing almost my finger when I'm supporting I'm not scared to touch my finger because it's not hurting me at all and again I have to twist the client finger to reach this side and that's the product off I will just remove the dust I will just remove the dust. Make sure you keep doing it like you don't leave the last dust on your machine because that's what is uh, going to cause the damage. I remove the dust from her nails and then I can switch off the fan because that's the most messy part done. So you can see how, how nicely we can remove the product and then we've got less hand file to do. But uh, I need to show you also a little bit of the cuticle work. So what I'm going to do is like open the drill again, this goes in here, I should, cl you clean it first, remove any derbies and the dust. And then we can put this little cuticle bit, we close it, I remove my cuticle pusher and I want to push the cuticles gently back. And the bit I'm going to use is to remove the cuticle which is on the nail plate. I'm not going to go and drill the um, uh, proximal and lateral folds uh, because that can cause later on a scarring and a travel. So again, I put my machine on a low level which is around anything from 10 to 12. 
Um, in a case if someone has a gentle cuticle, I would go for 12, and someone who has more, I will use um, 12. So I'm removing only the dead, dead cuticle, which is on the nail plate. You can help yourself and push it a little bit more. You can see how nicely the dead cuticle is coming off. And this is a bad one. You can see there is much more and the cuticle so I have to go a little bit more you can't stop in a one place for too long first of all you could damage the nail plate and even worse uh, you could damage the matrix um, so here I'm going to file a little bit of the cuticle on the top try to don't go with your fingers on the nails uh, it's better to use the brush so you can already see some improvement but I've got a little bit more work on this nail. So we're not doing a Russian manicure because uh, that's pretty aggressive, but I'm just tidy up the, the biggest dead tissue. If there is any sticking out beads, uh, you can gently, gently, don't remove the aponicum, don't remove the proximal folds, you can gently clip it, it. So in this case, that's this dry bead, you can see it, that's it. I don't want to remove anything, uh, anything else. I will be pushing my cuticles back one more time before I start painting those nails. Um, so first, first step on my manicure is just to really remove the very sticking out uh, hang nails and uh, tidy up the cuticle which was on the nail, nail plate. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you in love with this machine same way I do. And uh, if you did, just press like down below yes press like there and subscribe to my channel so uh, that will encourage me to do more videos for you you can also ask me a questions and i will be happy to um, to answer them i will be also happy to hear what else you would like to see uh, so drop me a message down below and i wait to hear back from you and we'll see you in the next videos thanks for watching bye